Hi, Daisy. Hi. Um, can I ask now, you're, it's the first time on the show, are you a fan of Countdown? Um, I was when Richard Whiting was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and Cara Vorderman. And Cara Vorderman. No, no, no. This one's better than... <laughs> This is difficult for me because in college, and by college I mean Hooters, I was... <laughs> <laughs> I was targeted by an inflatophiliac who tricked me into putting, like, clear bags down my, like, different... I can't even talk about it. Um, he challenged me to put... <laughs> <laughs> That if you put clear bags down your pantyhose <laughs> <laughs> and then like inflate them somehow, <laughs> if you can figure that out, how to do it, and take photos and email them to me, then I'll give you three hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, and like. <laughs> I thought it was smart because I put these like clear plastic bags. I went down to the petrol station. I used like big pump <laughs> and I like pumped them up so I had these like, huge legs. And then I just did it for like weeks because I he kept <laughs> challenging me like hard to challenge. <laughs> and then those pictures <laughs> were on a website. <laughs> Balloons, and he still follows my like career, and he still reaches out every once in a while. And this is gonna be bad. <laughs> <laughs> and if anyone's interested, three hundred dollars. <laughs> they say, Jimmy, dress for the job you want, not for the job you have. Bonsoir, Rachel. <laughs> um, and so this is me for the mats. Forty minus sixty. Well, obviously, that can't be done. It's impossible. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then for the Ole, uh, for... Cos it's not just about numbers, is it, Rachel? Well... OK. Um, <laughs> it's also about words, Susie. Wow! It's me, Susie Dent. Wow. <laughs> I think any impression that starts with the name of the person you're doing is good. <laughs> And then, obviously, you can't just uh, focus on numbers and words, can you? It's also about having a couple of jokes. So I thought, who better to emulate than my hero? <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it looks like Susie Denton's gone lesbian, is what it looks like. <laughs> Which, funny you should say that, Jimmy, because that's how people talk about you behind your back. It's me! <laughs> Jimmy Carr! Hey, <laughs> why, why, did the, why did the chicken cross the road? Because your mum's fat. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to have a really nice time and um, fit in with all the lads, so I bought myself a cool guy kit. <laughs> with everything you need to be a cool guy. Could you share it with John? <laughs> They do have a bigger one, um, <laughs> with more accessories. So, yes, yeah, so there's a cool beret. <laughs> this is like a French guy, maybe. And then, um, it's just like a cool moustache. And, uh, what could be cooler than smoking a pipe? <laughs> and then I've got, um, like, banter cards, with things we just say to just fit in with lads. Sure, go ahead. <sighs> Who's seen a lady's bottom recently, <laughs> yo? I tell you, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I was on Tinder even back when it was only me and Tom from MySpace on there. <laughs> 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 when I'm not in my car, I'm in the club or waiting for my car outside the club. <laughs> I'm just so bemused by the beret, pipe and moustache. What? So what's your version of a cool guy? What would it look like? <laughs> Kathy, what's, uh, what's the best thing that's happened to you in the last year? I broke my leg. Oh. <laughs> uh, OK, I mean, I suppose it's not Brexit or Trump. Yeah, cheer yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, it's much better than that, yeah. Yeah, no, I did. I actually... I broke my leg. I took a tumble down some stairs. They had to double-check the knee once, once the leg was healing. She said, oh, there's just a bit of wear and tear on the knee. So I said, oh, right, you know, and I own up to myself. And I said, oh, is that is that because I'm overweight? And she said, no, it's probably because you're old. <laughs> 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 that was my year. Fucked. What's, uh, what do you think that is the true meaning of Christmas? I'm really not the right person to ask these questions, Jimmy. 
<laughs> Are you not a big fan of Christmas? I sort of... No, I don't... I, I hate all this shit. <laughs> Sorry, are you talking about Christmas or Countdown now? Okay. Because... <laughs> no, it's all, it's all this. And that tree and balls everywhere and <laughs> snowmen and people being happy. So you... this crap. Look at this, what he's wearing. Uh, my name is John. <laughs> what, what do you do on Christmas Day, then? Well, I've sort of changed my routine now because the dog died, as we know. <laughs> <laughs> Broken leg and the dog's dead, so... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what time? I want to come around mine, you know. So you changed your routine because the dog died? Yeah. So what, so what was the, what was the routine? Well, the routine used to be I wouldn't see anyone except the dog, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd take the dog out in the morning. You see people out and about, all happy, like... Fit. They think, because it's Christmas Day, this is the problem, right. they think they can say hello to you. <laughs> Liberty takers, am I right? Liberty takers. Older. Um, I feel like I can handle myself now. Mm. Rosie Jones, do you think you could take him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I'll do go for it and at least one of them might hit him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Right. Wow. This is uh Claude. This is your actual parrot. This is my actual parrot, yeah. Claude, he's a little bit bitey, that's it. <laughs> right, right Claude, that I could do a trick. Step up. Step up. Step oh, Stay he's there. Good. <laughs> Does he talk? He can say hello when he on his terms. I have a very similar policy. <laughs> Gotta be on my terms. Uh, hello? <laughs> Hello. hello? Hello. Well, that's his way of saying hello. <laughs> Do you want to try him on the arm again, Daisy? I Let's will. Just see I'll if try he's... him on the arm. Step up. Step up. Step what? up. Why are step you doing up. a parrot voice? Step... <laughs> I miss my best friend, Jimmy Carr. I'm lost without his teaching. Like, who to see for Botox? Who to avoid for anal bleaching? <laughs> I miss his laugh, his private jet. I long for the hurtful barbs. <laughs> I miss going to fancy restaurants and Jimmy saying I can't have carbs. I miss comforting his butlers. <laughs> <laughs> After their grueling triple shift. <laughs> While Jimmy's hosting royalty and they're all plotting their next grift. I love to be your sidekick. And now it seems I've got the sack. He's doing great without me. Jimmy, all your hair's grown back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cross with Boris and this whole COVID mess. So until this shit relaxes, you're my hero. And I hope you know, I'm glad you dodged those taxes. <laughs> um, I've been writing children's books recently. Right. I read a lot of books with my daughter. I just found they don't prepare them for life. You know, a lot of them are about, like, farmyard animals and princesses and stuff. So this one's a bit of a reality check, really. Oh, great. For young people. It's called um, Michelle and Her Frog. Can we hear it a little bit? Yeah. It's um, about a lady called Michelle. She's going through the menopause and she's from Doncaster. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle lives with her teenage son, Larry, and her husband. Her husband doesn't need a name. He hasn't had an interesting thing to say for 23 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday morning. Michelle wakes up her teenage son for school with breakfast in bed. She's cut the toast just the way he likes it. Morning, sweet pea, says Michelle. I wish you were dead, shouts Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Michelle has a little frog in her pocket that she talks to. Do you think he plays too much Fortnite on his PS4? Michelle asks the frog. No, he's taking the piss out of you, Michelle. <laughs> 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 that night, Michelle's husband came home with a magazine about rock climbing. He'll never go rock climbing, but he likes to pretend he's got something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> Like you, isn't it? Uh. To cheer herself up, Michelle went to a Chippendale show at a function room behind a Toby Carvery. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, she went to a nightclub on her own. One girl thought she was a toilet attendant. Another lad kept shimmying over to her on the dance floor, farting and then going back to his friends. <laughs> he did it three times. <laughs> Michelle went over and shouted, You need a poo, go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> 
did I overreact? Mm. She asked the frog. No, to be fair, Michelle, he was a twat. <laughs> Eventually, Michelle lost her frog because she was drinking too much. <laughs> she went on a cheap holiday with a woman she hardly knew and met someone called Glynn. They opened up a falafel stand in a car park in Swindon and lived happily ever after. <laughs> I mean, please surprise on everyone. Sean, Rosie, uh, you get the first pick of letters. Would you like to choose? Yeah! <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Can't say that. Thank you, Rosie. T. Anova. R. Anova. <laughs> F. Bowel. I. Bowel. You? She heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Bowel. E. Consonant. D. Consonant. I would advise you, Rosie, to uh, touch Sean a little bit more. I, uh, he clearly... He, <laughs> he's clearly very much I'm enjoying it. I'm very comfortable with it. I'm very comfortable with it. No, no, well, good, because there's yeah. more. There's more what, in store, I feel. What should our last one be? <laughs> 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 so, I brought a menstrual cup. Ooh. I just think my minstrel's out the bag. <laughs> I yeah. I've, I've never really found calls to. <laughs> well, get into it. I never remember when my period is, so I come on and stress brings it on, so I was worried about it today. It's basically like a little rubber sherry glass where every month you sort of toast the end of your fertility. <laughs> and, uh, and people who use them are really evangelical about them. They'll try and get you to use them as well. It's like a cult, but we wear our uniform on the inside. She said cult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Roisin, have you got a mascot? Ideally, something that hasn't been inside you. No, I don't, then. 